Welcome to the training video on how to conduct key informant interviews. The training today will be facilitated by Diane and Kate from the TSO of World Vision International. The training will cover steps on how to conduct key informant interviews, tips on taking notes during key, in key informant interviews, how to use the KII note taking form and data collection tracking table, and to practice through role play and record feedback on the piloting of the tools. So let's get started. The steps to consider when conducting key informant interviews. So we wanna first prepare for the key informant interviews ahead of time. We want to understand the purpose of conducting the key informant interviews. What information are we trying to probe out of the respondent? We need to really understand this because we don't wanna just go through the questionnaire and the tools and just ask questions for the sake of asking questions. We want to understand as we probe the answers that the respondents are providing us with, to really understand um, the objective of the evaluation. So for our purpose, the evaluation objectives uh, for this evaluation is to identify the program components that may need to be strengthened to optimize uh, or to have the greatest impact on child growth. It's also to understand what are the programmatic implications for implementing pd Heart Light compared to pd Heart. So what is the difference of pd Heart Light and with pd Heart for the different components such as uh, the design phase, the actual implementation, and the supervision. So the design can include the situational analysis, the selection of the volunteers, the, tr the training of the volunteers, implementation itself can uh, include the heart sessions, um, were the phone calls being made, um, and then the supervision of the volunteers. So we want to understand what is the difference between PD Heart Light and PD Heart for these different components. We should also familiarize yourself to the interview tool or questionnaire. So we can do this by pilot testing the tool and revising the tool as needed so the questions are clear to the target respondents. And it's also from practice through things like role play. We also want to understand the note taking template you will record the key informant information or the data on. It's helpful to familiarize yourself to the headings and the format. Also understand the cultural barriers to be considered when conducting the interview. Always be polite and respectful. For phone interviews, call the respondent and agree on a date or time for the interview prior to the interview date. We also want to work in pairs for KIIs. There should be one interviewer and one recorder. The recorder could use a laptop and fill in the answers using the note-taking document provided. Please do not use a different document or change the headings of the note-taking document provided. And Kate will be taking us through um, in more detail of this note-taking document later. Also have all the equipment and tools prepared prior to calling the respondent, such as an audio recorder, a phone for, the, for phone interviews, the questionnaire tools, uh, the note-taking document with an archival number, and the long consent form. I would highly recommend to save the note-taking document for each uh, respondent with the archival number ahead of time. And if you already have certain background information, you can fill that in in the, um, the note-taking document ahead of time to save time, especially if you're doing these interviews over the phone. Also practice through role play or pilot the tool and revise the questionnaire and translation as needed. Record how much time the interview takes during your role play and ensure you have the complete list of respondents you need to inter interview. When conducting KIIs, call the respondent and introduce yourself. Confirm the name of the person on the phone to make sure that he or she is the person you want to speak with for the interview. If it is, 
ask if they are in a safe place to talk right now for a 30 minute phone interview. If respondents say no, then ask for a different time you could call to complete the interview. Read the long verbal consent form to the respondent. If participants agree, here is an example of a long consent form. You can fill in the name of the participant on the line over here and circle yes. And then the enumerator can sign on this line here, indicate the date and time of when it was signed, and then you can also write your name, the enumerator's name in the second line. Now read the introduction of the questionnaire tool and ask if you can record your discussion which should be included in the introduction section of the tool. If the respondent agrees to the audio recording of the interview, put your phone on speakerphone and use another device to record the interview. The other device can be another phone or another recording device. And if this doesn't work, another option is using Skype. You can call another phone using Skype, but you must have Skype credit and then you can record the conversation on Skype and the recording will be saved on the computer. Ask each of the questions in the tool and clarify the question if the respondent does not seem to understand the question. Take note of the questions that may require revising after each interview. Also, record the time of when the interview starts and ends at the top of the note-taking form, which Kate will take us through. After conducting key informant interviews, on the same day, if possible, reread the transcription and use the audio recording to fill in any information that may have been missed. Please, please, once again, I want to emphasize, do not change the note-taking document. Make sure you are using the note-taking document when taking the notes and do not add any additional tables or change the wording of the heading. This is because this document will be imported into a qualitative data software where the data will be analyzed. So you must use the note-taking document that we provide. Translate the transcription into English word for word. Please do not summarize while translating as this will affect the qualitative data analysis. Please send an urgent email with feedback to the project team leaders and highlight the questions that need revisions in the wording or in the translation. Changes could be made quickly across all the questionnaire tools. Next, I will hand it over to Kate and she will take us through the different tips for taking notes during AII. Over to you, Kate. Thanks, Diane. And thanks for that great summary and tips for doing key informant interviews. In the PowerPoint, you will see that there are two slides about tips for how to take key informant interviews. And I would ask that you refer back to the PowerPoint for those tips. However, for this video, I'm also going to walk you through the key informant interview note taking guide. So you can see it for yourself of how it's laid out and how what is the best way to fill it. Here is the note taking form for the in depth interview guide with the volunteers. You will notice at the very top there is this table and this table needs to be completed accurately. Please note the date of the interview in the format using the month, date, and year format, the name and code if you have one for the surveyor, name of participant, intervention group. In this case, we have either the PD Hearth or the PD Hearth Light group, the name of the ADP, the cluster code number, the participant's phone number, the archival number, start time, end time, participants' characteristics. For the archival number, we are suggesting that you use this format. And this format is going to be essential that everyone follows to ensure that we keep track of the various interviews that will be conducted. 
For this evaluation, we are using the format of starting with the AP acronym. In this case, we would be using BRB, RLP, RLP or SRT for Bori Bor, Rolla Beer, or Simrong Tom. The cluster number, the name of the group represented, whether it's PD Hearth or PD Hearth Light, noted as PD or PDL, whether they are a volunteer or a caregiver, and the key informant interview number. So, for example, if the interview was conducted from someone from Bori Bor in cluster number two, and they were a volunteer with the PD Hearth group, and it was the fifth person interviewed, the archival number would be BRB2VPD5. Again, keep note of this archival number as we will need to use it when we are also filling out the data collection table form. As you go through the note-taking guide, you will see that it is exactly the same as the interview guide. The only difference is the heading, and you will see that it is colored in blue. As Diane had mentioned, it is essential that you do not change the format of these headings. Do not change the color, do not add words, or change any type of uh, the, the word form. When you are doing the interview, you can use shorthand to complete the answers that you receive from the interviewees. Do not worry during the interview about trying to capture everything that the interviewee is saying. That is why you have the audio recording. The main thing is that as you are doing the, as you are taking the notes, that you have a way to go back and remember what your shorthand was. So if you're using abbreviations, make sure that there are abbreviations that you can remember what it stands for. As you continue going through the note-taking guide, you will ask the questions in the same as um, you have in the interview guide. But one thing particular of note in the note-taking guide is at the very end, there's a place for you to write the note-taker observations. This is anything that you have observed during the interview about the person's body language, their mood, their attitude, anything that wouldn't necessarily be picked up in the Word transcript. After you are done with the interview, we strongly suggest that within 24 hours, you go back and you fill out the a note taking guide with more information in detail. So you can use a recording to fill out anything that you couldn't quite capture during the interview itself. As many of you may know, when you do qualitative evaluations, what is key is getting from the participants in their own words how they answered a question. And that is why we ask that you do not summarize what they said in your words, but you use their own words to the best extent as possible. The other um, reason why it's important that you do the transcription within 24 hours is if there was anything that came up in the interview, such as new questions or questions that were not clear, that needs to be communicated as soon as possible to the other data enumerators. If there are additional questions that need to be added, that needs to be communicated so that future interviews are also using those additional questions. As you go on to the note-taking guide for the caregivers, you will see that it follows the very similar format. However, it does have some more information about their demographics. Again, this is quite important that you fill this out completely, as we will need this when we do uh, the da further data analysis by TSO. The archival number follows the exact same format, starting with the AP acronym, followed by cluster number, whether it was a volunteer or care caregiver, and KII number. Again, do not change anything in these headings. Do not add any numbers or names or change the font size. It's very important that that stays the same. 
And just like you did with the volunteers, same with the caregiver interviews, you want to go back and listen to the recording and fill out anything that you may have missed. Also at the bottom, there's the opportunity for you to make any notes of your observations. Again, anything that surfaced that you think is important for others to notice about how the person's attitude was during the interview. Next, if I go back to the PowerPoint, you will see that we have the slide on recording of the interview. In this slide, I am giving you the example of a table for tracking the KIIs. We are sending this form separately in an Excel file, but this is the format that we ask that you use for recording the KIIs. Again, you will notice you have the archival number. So again, emphasizing how important it is to have that archival number recorded on each of the KII note-taking um, tool. Then you will insert whether it was a caregiver or volunteer, the date of the interview, the interviewee, or excuse me, the interviewer, the note taker, if someone else besides the interviewer took notes, the translator, the gender of the interviewee, their marital status, main occupation, and date filed. This date filed is when you filled out this table with all of this information. It is different from the date of the interview, which is when the interview was actually conducted. All of this needs to be sent in a separate file to TSO. We suggest that you use MS Teams to fill out this form so that it can be filled out in real time. And TSO can also be reviewing this as you are completing it. And we can also track how well the key informant interviews are being um, conducted and what is the status. That is all for tips on how to complete the note taking form. Back over to you, Diane. Thanks, Kate. So I'll be taking us through the last slide, um, which is about practicing through role play and piloting the tool. So pair up with another enumerator, and you'll be working as a pair for the rest of the data collection. The first pair will be known as Team A, and you will be responsible for piloting, conducting the role play, using the PDHARD volunteer questionnaire, and then conducting the KIIs for the volunteers. Team B will be responsible for piloting and conducting the role for the caregiver beneficiary tool, and they will be conducting the KIs for the caregiver beneficiaries. Please take note of the questions that need to be clarified as you conduct the role play and provide TSO with feedback as soon as possible so it could be revised. And also, please take note of the time it takes to complete the interviews and let TSO know in the feedback as well. Thank you, and that brings us to the end of this presentation. Please let us know if you have any questions and we can follow up with you.